Busch Gardens in Tampa Bay, Florida might just be the best theme park in Florida, when it comes to thrill at least. The coaster lineup for this park is incredible. In 2022 they introduced their record-breaking Iron Guazi. This coaster manufactured by RMC is its first coaster to have a beyond vertical drop, with an angle of 91 degrees and top speed 76 mile per hour. This is one wild ride and definitely has took Busch Gardens Tampa Bay to that next level of thrill. That's not to say any of the other roller coasters aren't thrilling because they definitely are. Let's take it back to the oldest ride at the park. Scorpion, this ride is the oldest coaster at the park, opening in 1980 this coaster has only one vertical loop and top speed of 41 miles per hour, this is a great coaster for any beginners out there. The next oldest coaster is Kumba, this coaster manufactured by B&M opened in 1993 and had broke records for the tallest vertical loop in the world, it also was the longest, tallest and fastest roller coaster in Florida. Kumba was the first B&M coaster to feature interlocking corkscrews and is one of only five in the world to feature a vertical loop around the lift hill. This coaster is still going strong and is a pretty intense, but still a really fun and iconic ride at the park. Busch Gardens' next coaster is one of my personal favorites, the absolutely brilliant Montu. The first inverted coaster at the park manufactured by B&M, this ride opened up in 1996 and was the world's tallest and fastest inverted roller coaster. The forces you feel on this coaster are just incredible, a great layout throughout and lasts 3 minutes. The pacing throughout this ride, it sure doesn't lose it. One of the best invert coasters out there. Another coaster manufactured by B&M is Shikra. The record-breaking rides at Busch Gardens continue with this coaster being the first of its kind in the United States, also being one of the tallest coasters in Florida after Mako at SeaWorld. With a height of 200 feet this floorless dive coaster will plunge you into a 90-degree vertical drop, that's right after it leaves you hanging there in suspense for a few seconds. This has a brilliant layout throughout and again has a good duration of 2 minutes 20 and a max speed of 70 miles per hour. This theme park really is jam-packed full of thrill. Launching us into the next coaster is Cheetah Hunt. Opening in 2011, this steel-launched coaster, manufactured by Intamin features not one, not two but three launches with a maximum speed of 60 miles per hour. This coaster has a brilliant layout throughout, weaving you through the Serengeti Plain section. Here's a fact you probably didn't know, this coaster was inspired by Star Wars Return of the Jedi, when Luke and Leia are on speeder bikes navigating through the forests Next of Ender. to be built was Cobra's Curse, manufactured by Mack Rides. This ride opened in 2016. This steel spinning coaster features an elevator-style lift, this unique roller coaster has great theming and layout throughout, it sure isn't as thrilling as most of the other coasters at the park but it is a fun and very unique ride and is definitely a great family coaster. The second newest roller coaster at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay is Tigris. This steel-launched coaster manufactured by Premier Rides opened in 2019. This is one of only 10 of its kind in the world, with three launches first one launches you forward not making it all the way up then sends you into a backwards launch before rolling back down into the final and very nippy launch into the rest of the layout. This ride's launch definitely is impressive and overall and great ride, but personally it doesn't compare to Busch Gardens' other coasters. In 2024 Busch Gardens will have yet another coaster to add to the list, this one being Phoenix Rising of B&M Invert. If you have made it this long into the video thank you and if you haven't already like and subscribe for much more content just like this one.